Hello, my name's Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Sport, and we're going to be working on his go to bed with distractions. Now, what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be starting to add some distractions to Sport's go to bed command. The reason why we do this slowly is because if we add too many elements, so too much distance, too much distraction, too much duration all at once, then Sport's going to have a much lower chance of success than if we broke it down further. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to toss some food. And the goal here is that I want to be able to open the door without Sport moving. Sport, go to bed. Yes, good boy. Stay. So you see I'm treating him low to the ground and then telling him to stay. And all I'm going to do is just crack open the door. Yes, good boy. Stay. And each time I create a distraction, I'm treating and then reiterating that stay. Yes, good boy. Stay. Uh-uh. You see right there, sport broke, so I'm going to go ahead and put him right back in position. Uh-uh. Yes, but I'm not going to treat him right away. I don't want to reinforce the breaking, so I'm going to wait a couple seconds and then reward him. Stay. Now right there, you see there was a distraction in the background. We're going to go ahead and open the door. Yes, good boy. Stay. Yes. Stay. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Yes. I'm going to tap on the head to release. Okay. And that was a really nice job from the sport. You see, he did a great job holding his position. And even though he did break, you saw the process was that I put him right back, waited a couple seconds, then rewarded him. Overall, really nice job from sport today.